All right. Hi, everyone. So we're going to be going over lesson 2.4, which is adding and subtracting with unlike denominators. I'm going to put the steps up. So if you want to take a picture with your phone or if you ever need to get the steps, you can come back to this section of the video. All right. So we'll go through the steps together. So our first step is factoring the denominators if we can factor them, which we can in this case. So we would be able to factor them both by the a m method because they're both trinomials with a leading coefficient of one so we can factor them both by a m when we factor them by a m we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 20 and add to negative nine for the first one so if i'm multiplying to make a positive but adding to make a negative both numbers have to be negative and those two numbers are negative five and negative four. Your next fraction, we're looking to find two factors that multiply to eight, but add to negative six. So same thing, you have to multiply to a positive, add to a negative, both signs would be negative, and the numbers would be four and two. X minus four, X minus two. Okay, so now we play our matching game. So we match up which ones they have in common. So we're gonna highlight, if you're on your iPad, use your highlighter on Canvas. So we're going to highlight X minus four and X minus four, I'm gonna do green. So they already have X minus four in common. The only way to get them to match is to multiply in more factors. We can't take factors away. So I see an X minus five in the first fraction. I'm going to highlight it. So I know that the second fraction needs an X minus five. So I'm going to multiply in an x minus 5 to the numerator and denominator. And remember, the reason that we multiply the same thing in the top and the bottom is because x minus 5 over x minus 5 is really just the number 1. So we're not actually changing the value of the fraction. We're just changing the look of the fraction to make it match. Then we can color coordinate it. So they both have the x minus 4 factor and they both have the x minus 5 factor. So now the first fraction and pick a different color. I'm going to use blue and we're going to highlight the x minus 2 factor. So now the first fraction needs an x minus 2. So I'm going to multiply in an x minus 2 to the numerator and the denominator. And now they both match. So your LCD, which is what you want to write down, is an x minus 4 they have in common, an x minus 5 they have in common, and an x minus 2. That's your LCD. Now you can add those two fractions because they have the same denominator. So you have to work with the numerators, distribute the numerators. x minus 2 distributed to 1 is just x minus 2. And in the same step, I know that I can add it to the second fraction because they have the same denominator now. So I'm going to turn it into one fraction. So it's plus 2 times x minus 5, which would be plus 2x, and then minus 10 over the common denominator, which is x minus 2, x minus 5, and x minus 4. So remember, the order doesn't matter that you put your factors in because it's commutative property of multiplication, the order does not matter. So even though they're in different order in this fraction and this fraction, if you plugged a value in for X, they would equal the same number. So order does not matter. And then your next step is to combine anything that you can combine in the top. A trick would be, if you wanna save a little bit of writing, instead of writing this, since over here, you actually wrote the LCD, you can just write LCD for the denominator and then make sure that you plug in the actual LCD at the end. So you would combine like terms. We can do X plus 2X and negative 2 minus 10. X plus 2X is 3X. Negative 2 minus 10 is minus 12 over, and I'm going to use my trick and write LCD. And then I'll fill it in at the end. Your next step is to factor the numerator if you can. Once you do this step, you want to actually plug in the numbers for the LCD. So it would be 
a GCF of three that I would factor out and that would be left with X minus four when you divide out three over the actual LCD because this is when we're almost done. We just wanna cross off any factors that are matching. So our LCD was X minus four, X minus five and X minus two. Okay, you're gonna notice I matched it to this one. This one over here, I wrote in a different order, but remember that does not matter as long as all three are there. Okay, so now we're done. We factored the numerator, the denominator is already factored for us, and then you cross off what is matching. So X minus four and X minus four would cancel and you multiply everything that's left on top which is just a three. And then the two factors that are left on the bottom are X minus five and X minus two, and that would be your final answer. All right, next question. Same topic, just this is subtraction. So for subtraction, I would suggest doing keep change change, which means that you change the subtraction to addition, and then change all the signs in the numerator of the second fraction. That would be my suggestion. The only other thing you can do is remember to distribute the negative sign, but if you do keep change change, that might eliminate some silly mistakes. So if anything in the numerator is more than one term, put it in parentheses. The denominators, they do not match, so we cannot subtract these two fractions. I'm gonna go to the next slide so that you can review the steps, take a picture, take a screenshot so that you have it. So for this question, I would try to pause the video and try the problems on your own and then play the video when you're ready to check your work. So the first denominator, x to the second minus 21, I would factor using difference of two perfect squares, also known as dots. The second denominator, I would factor by a m. And this should be a positive eight, not a negative eight. All right, so then x plus four, we're gonna write down. And when we factor the denominator by dots, you should get x plus 11 and x minus 11. The next one, keep x minus two in the parentheses. And in this case, I am going to do keep change change. So I'm gonna change this to addition and make it negative two x plus one over. And then this would factor two numbers that multiply to negative 33, but add to positive eight would be x plus 11 and x minus three. All right, so now we do our comparing. So we compare what they have in common. I'm gonna do that in green. So they both have an X plus 11. So off to the side, you wanna write down your LCD is X plus 11, and we'll fill in the rest of the LCD, but that's definitely something they have in common. So now the second fraction, I'm gonna do this in blue, has an X minus three. So the first fraction needs an X minus three. So you would multiply that in the, the numerator and the denominator and keep it the same color. So they both have an X minus three now and an X plus 11. So the next part of your LCD would be X minus three. And then last step for this part of the problem, last thing they have in common or the last thing they both need, the first fraction has an X minus 11. So the second fraction needs an X minus 11 in the denominator. And remember we have to multiply it to the numerator also. Okay, so now the LCD is X plus 11, X minus three and X minus 11. Now you just wanna work with the numerators. So the trick is instead of writing the LCD over and over again, just put it over the letters LCD. And then once you're done simplifying, the numerators and factoring, then you can put it back over the real LCD. So you gotta be careful. We're multiplying a binomial times a binomial. So you would have to double distribute. This would turn into X to the second plus four X minus three X minus 12. 
See, now this is where it's nice when you do keep change change because you don't have to worry about distributing the negative sign to whatever you get. The negative is already distributed. So we would do negative 2x times x is negative 2x to the second minus 2x to the second. Negative 2x times negative 11 is plus 22x. 1 times x is plus x, and then 1 times negative 11 is minus 11. All right, so there's a lot going on here, but we just got to combine like terms, and I am going to keep it as a fraction. So either you can actually write out the LCD like this, or you could have just written the words LCD. Okay, for now, I'll keep it as the numbers, but we're not doing anything with the denominator because the numerator is a mess and we got to simplify it and then factor it. So color coordinate everything. I see an x to the second minus a 2x to the second. Then I have a 4x minus 3x and a 22x plus x. And then the last thing that I can simplify would be negative 12 minus 11. So you're just combining like terms. x to the second minus 2x to the second is negative x to the second. Then we have 4x four mi four minus 3x is 1x. 1x plus 22x is 23x plus another x is 24x. So plus 24x and then negative 12 minus 11, use your calculator if you're not sure, that would be negative minus 23. All right, and then that's over the x minus 3, x plus 11, x minus 11. Okay, so we got to work with the numerator still. We want to try to factor that. So since the x squared is a negative, we're actually going to factor out a negative 1. So I'm going to factor out a negative 1. That will leave me with a positive x squared minus 24x and then plus 23. That's going to make it a lot easier for us to do the AM method. And again, just to get used to writing the LCD, just keep writing the LCD. If you want, like I said before, you can just write LCD, but know that you have to actually plug this in at the end when you're ready to simplify. So this would turn into negative one, two numbers that multiply to positive 23, but add to negative 24 would be negative 23 and negative one. And then it's over x minus three, x plus 11, x minus 11. Okay, so in this case, nothing canceled. So that would be your final answer. Okay, I hope this video helped. We're just doing two questions. And if you have any further questions or if you want extra review, just message me on Canvas. And I hope everyone has a great day.